they're really making these memorable moments, which is something I always talk about, you know, it's not necessarily about being the best, but it's about being the most memorable. Hey everyone, I'm Anna Rumor here at Pop Culture, and today we have with us the Emmy-winning performer, Dancing with the Stars judge, Derek Huff. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Well, I know you're super busy. You've got so much going on, but let's talk Dancing with Stars for just a minute here. What do you let's think do of it. the celebrity talented that we have competing this season? I mean, it's, it's pretty high. I think everybody is really, really, really good. Um, it's anybody's game, and I, I really mean that because look at JoJo. She was in the bottom two, but she's been a top scorer all season. I talked to other people. People love Iman. Um, you know, Melora, Amanda, amazing dancers. Uh, Olivia Jade is like mind blowingly good. And it's been amazing to see her like just get better and better each week. Jimmy Allen. I mean, I don't know. I, I, it's, it, who knows what's going to happen? Everybody's so good. But this is exciting. This is an exciting part of the season because this is where it gets competitive. This is where it gets like, okay, like people that you might have thought were going to be in the final are going to be knocked out. You know, so it's it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be exciting. If JoJo goes home, I riot. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Which, by the way, it's so you know, it's funny when people I, when people say that they say I'm not watching the show now because so and so went home. Like honestly, like I, I, it doesn't bother me when people say that because it it, it it's because they care. They're they're rooting for these people. They're they're, they're getting invested, and I think that's a really positive thing. Um, and that's, that's a bummer. That, I, that's what happens. You know, people that you like, that you support, go home sometimes. You know, it happens. So, And we all tune back in anyway. So it's all blunt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never watching it again. Sure. Yeah, next Monday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, did you have anyone who was coming in that you were super excited to meet or see get out there and dance? Honestly, Mel C. Mel C, mm-hmm. I was, you know, obviously she's just like, I was just pop culture legend um and uh so i was really bummed i was bummed to see her go um man i was she definitely went home too soon for sure um because she was super talented and super kind just awesome so yeah that was a, that was a bummer that was a bummer one for me um but i was really looking forward to her to her when she joined the season yeah was there anyone who surprised you the most out there you know for better or for worse I think Olivia, honestly, because I, I, she wasn't really on the radar, to be honest with you. At the beginning, I was just kind of like, you know, you had those, the few people that you were like, oh, looking out for them. And all of a sudden, I'm like, wait, she's really good. Like, she's a great performer. She's really charismatic. Um, it's very natural. But also just the technique is like, is really good. And so I was pretty impressed. I'm pretty, been pretty surprised by her. Were there any of the pros this season that are like stepping it up to another level that you're very impressed with? Uh, I think Daniela has really, uh, you know, I think like early in the season when you watch Iman, you're thinking like, okay, this is going to be a bit of a challenge, you know, but she's, she's really taken, um, she's really pushed it. I mean, they, they made it an incredible moment for the horror week, you know, they a really memorable moment, but there's, there's been a few of those, you know, with the Argentine tango they did they're really making these memorable moments, which is something I always talk about. You know, it's not necessarily about being the best, but it's about being the most memorable. Mm -hmm. Um, It's about what are people going to remember? You know, what what are they going to go back and watch over and over again? You know what I mean? Um, Technique gets you, gets you to a certain point, but it doesn't get you the win. Right. Cause you still need those votes from home. (laughs) Yeah. You need that. You need that. Like, we need moments, you know, and that takes like good choreography, good execution, good concepts, you know, um, also Jimmy Allen's really surprised me too. Um, it's been good. So I think Emma's done a great job as well. And yeah, Val, absolutely. Val, yeah, yeah. I mean, they've all been doing a great job. It feels like every season we get more talents and more talent, more talent. Is it going to just be impossible to judge at one point? No, because I think if it, if it is a kind of across the board, it's actually great because it's it's then if the standard is there, then we start we start we start there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and I think that was that's actually getting, been kind of the challenge a little bit with uh, Amanda a little bit because like she started so strong, and so it's like, well, where do you go from here? You know what I mean? And so it's like that's why I sort of I asked her I was like I, you need to put up unexpected in your mm-hmm. rehearsal room do something that's unexpected. That's going to make us go, Whoa, that's surprising. I didn't see that coming, you know, because you, you go, okay, we've seen, 
you know, it, it's kind of hard because you want to judge the technique and the form, but you also want to need to judge like the progress and like the, what, what else are you bringing to this table? You know what I mean? So it's, it's, um, but she's fantastic. So it's, it's a tough one, man. Yeah. It's tough when you're already good. <laughs> Well, and uh, I know you said that it's kind of anyone's game right now, but if you had to pick someone to bet on to win that mirror ball trophy, who would you be putting your money on? Um, uh, no, no, nope. can't do Nobody. it. Nobody. <laughs> it's, it's an I can't, open playing I, field. Because here's the thing. I, I can't do it because I, I don't know. And I'm not really a big better. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't bet. I don't gamble and stuff. Um, but, uh, but I, I would just say that it's, it's, it really just depends, man. Depends on what people want to see, you know, who knows? Because yeah. you might think like, oh, they're going to, they, they, they should win based off their dancing ability, but it, it's the show, the dancing part of it is a part of it. It's not the whole thing, you know, connecting with the audience. That is a huge part of it. So we'll see. Right. We all watched Bobby Bones take it home and he admits that he's not the best dancer. So it could be anyone. <laughs> you know, exactly. You never know. <laughs> well, so I know you're going back and forth with your No Limit show in Vegas as well. Can you tell me a little bit about what is behind that show and how it's been going? Um, it's been going great. It's been, so, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I was a little nervous because it's, a, it was an interesting time. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. like, Hey, we're doing a live show. It's, it's kind of a crazy time. But the risk paid off, you know, it's been amazing audiences, incredible energy. Um, you know, I think this whole week is sold out pretty much like it's, it's amazing. And uh, just, I'm really proud of the show, the live music, the dancing, everything about it. So very, very proud, very proud. Awesome. Well, and we've got the holidays coming up as well. That's got to be crazy busy. How are you making time to make things special this year? Well, for me, the holidays, you know, the holidays are all about, family and food let's be honest with ourselves let's be real let's get real yeah, here right. Anna shall we let's get <laughs> yes let's, let's get, get real. real I want some food <laughs> it's about it's about so look at what I got here let's let's talk about this look at that. right now can we talk about this for a second I got the good. sweater on it's it's November 2nd it's time it's time <laughs> <laughs> blast the Mariah Carey um, we're ready you know what I mean turn that Michael Buble up let's go yeah. um <laughs> No, but for me, it's, it's been actually a lot of fun because this past quarantine, I, I was actually cooking a lot with my girlfriend in the kitchen and uh, got, got into it. You know, I kind of really got into the whole the whole thing and, and uh, the holidays are coming up. So I partnered with America's, you know, egg farmers because you know, eggs are pretty much a key ingredient for all these amazing family recipes that we know and we love uh, that bring back that, that comfort, that nostalgia. And um, so I'm excited to see my family actually in Nashville. We're all getting together. And so oh, we've uh, all we have been together all together in a long time. I haven't seen them in so long. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to share my new cooking skills with them and some reimagined uh, recipes. Like my favorite you got to have is the cornbread. Uh, so the jalapeno oh. cornbread stuffing. Yes. yes. Delicious. That's the eggnog amazing. waffle cookies. I mean, hello. Uh, it's going to be awesome. But, um, <laughs> but what's kind of cool is I, I partnered with America's Egg Farmers and I want people to, you know, to kind of reimagine some of their family recipes, you know, to, you know, post about it, you know, put at incredible egg or, or tag me in it. Um, you know, go to incredible, uh, incredible egg.org to get different recipes. It's all about, for me, it's about like, how do we like update these, these old recipes that we we know and we love, how do we kind of push it a little bit? Um, and I think that yeah, we've all been cooking a lot, you know, this past couple of years. So I think it's fun for us to, to, to share with each other. And it's, it's, it's interesting for me because being a choreographer and a creator, mm -hmm. cooking has kind of been this, a similar you know, similar part of that because it's like you're creating something and then you're sharing it with everybody. So it's, uh, it's been, a, it's been a, a fun little journey in the old, in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, what's your biggest stunt whenever you're, uh, in the kitchen, anything that is really impressive that you've cooked up? My, my stunt, you said stunt. Yeah. If you're stunting in the kitchen, what are you going to do? If I'm stunt, yo, if I'm stunt in the kitchen, um, actually <laughs> this is a true story. I, I wouldn't say this is me stunting. Uh, wow. <laughs> I said stunted like that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I just, I heard myself and I cringed hard. Um, <laughs> but actually my very first dish I ever learned how to make was, was a uh, toad in a hole, which was basically a piece of bread, cut a hole in it, put an egg in there, toast it. And speaking of reimagining something, you, there's this bagel uh, egg in a hole. 
where it's a bagel, mm. seasoned bagel with the egg in it, and it's so delicious. Uh, and it's just about reimagining those different those uh, different recipes. But honestly, if I'm stunned in the kitchen, I'm dancing. That's what I'm yeah. doing. So my girl, she's cooking, and I'm I'm in the back just being a distraction, dancing around her. You know, um, that's pretty much my role. <laughs> Dinner and a show. Well, I that's appreciate it. you uh, talking with me today, and I'm looking forward to more Dancing with the Stars. So I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Awesome. My pleasure. Thanks so much, Anna.